Wow, that's actually pretty awesome. Hello, my friends, and how are you doing? Today, we are going to have an in-depth review of the brand new Chen 4 Turbo model by Runway. What is it good at? What is it bad at? Let's get started. By the way, you can also follow me on X. And if you post a comment under this video, I will try it out in Korea and then create it as a video with Runway Chen 4 Turbo and post it on my X account. Try to have a prompt that has motion in it so that it actually works better with this model. So first, let's have here a quick look at the website. Everything is as you are used to it. And I generated about 150 test videos for you. We're not going to look at all of them. But when you come to the Runway website, to the video generation, here you can load the image you want to use. Below that you write your prompt and most importantly down here from all of these models you select the Chen 4 Turbo model and then you can start generating between 5 and 10 seconds for the duration and you have here also different aspect ratios to choose from which is pretty nice. And another thing you can do here is in the settings, you can set a fixed seat for the Gen 4 Turbo model right now. As you can see here on the side, we don't have the selection of, for example, the camera movements and so on. But I'm sure this will come kind of soonish. Also, of course, you can use this in the unlimited mode, which is good because then you can test it as much as you want. There is a queue of only two videos, but they render pretty quickly. So still you can go through a ton of videos every single day. Now let's go through the videos I've generated for you. This is in the order I have generated them. And this is the very first video of this bear walking into a shallow river. Now the images have all been created with Korea and then animated with the Gen 4 Turbo model. Here I had at first a little bit of problems to animate the water a little bit. So you can see the river is not quite flowing, but the animation of the bear is beautiful and everything looks pretty amazing. I have have to say. So I'm very happy with this example here. In my next example, I already want to show you one of the problems with the turbo model because there has to be a good indication of movement. Otherwise, the model is going to be confused as to what you want from it. So in this case, even though it is a butterfly that quite honestly looks like it's flying towards this blossom, the model does not understand that because there's only one wing. So the fluttering of the wings is not happening here. Even though it is kind of good, we have this kind of slow motion effect. I wanted to have an action scene where everything is happening faster. But for some reason, I couldn't get it to have a fast explosion. So sometimes you will see these slow motion effects, especially if there is no motion blur or other indication of a fast movement. However, once you have figured that out, you can actually create beautiful scenes. So here the starting image has the walking motion in that. And because of that, and also because this is a well known shot that is often used, the model easily understands that and creates a really beautiful result, not just from the motion, but also from the clothing, but also from the depth of field, how it is getting blurrier, the closer the objects are getting to the camera. Pretty amazing. Here's the next example of a car drifting. And again, this is pretty beautiful. As soon as you have the smoke behind it and you describe it as smoke coming from the tires, this actually works really well. Now at the end of the clip, you can see that the smoke is shooting out from under the car. So here you probably want to cut that video. But most of that clip actually looks pretty good. In the next scene, we are following a car that is racing along a road at night. There is very nice shadows here from the street lamps, even though they might not 100% line up with these lamps. But overall, everything looks pretty nice. And by the way, I also want to point out here, you can upscale these videos to 4K if you want to. So that is also an option. 
Now we're coming to horse riding scenes. We have here a Native American. This actually turned into a woman, but I think that is what Korea did, not what the Gen 4 Turbo model did. The riding for the most part looks pretty good, I have to say. Also the movements of the feathers and the hair of the horse. Everything kind of looks good. Sometimes the movement is a little bit strange. Sometimes there's an extra leg coming in. So this kind of riding motion or run motion sometimes has a little bit of a hiccup. I hope that can fix that model to improve that. Here we have a different scene of that and again I have to say that it looks pretty good even though on the edges of the grass we can see a little bit of morphing of the legs doing some strange stuff so it's not a hundred percent there but if you just need a short clip you can cut the best out of that clip and also I want to remind you that you have unlimited clips you can create with the tier that allows unlimited clips so here you really can go as long as you get something that is really 100% good. Here's one more clip that I want to show you just because it has this kind of dynamic in the foreground of the grass moving. Now here the running of the horse feels a little bit dreamlike like the horse is running on clouds so you might want to run this prompt several times to get a better result but overall I have to say most of it looks pretty amazing. Next again, we have a clip where the model had real problems with it. And this is fish jumping. I also tried a shark jumping. It also didn't really work that well. So here the water is running very well and also the bubbles are moving very well. Only the fish is just frozen in the air, which is interesting because there's a lot of these clips online to be found. So you would think that's something the model understands, but it really doesn't that well. However, one thing that really works well is to have a boat racing down a river. Now, one thing I want to point out here, not sure if you can see that in the video, is there is a little bit of a more air pattern in the how can I say in the foam that the boat is creating. So that is kind of interesting. There's also kind of a blurriness in that foam from the motion. But overall, the clip looks really, really cool. In the next clip, we have this running warrior in full armor. And I have to say, this looks pretty amazing. Also, there's another warrior in the background. The one in the background is maybe a little bit too jumpy from the running, but the warrior in the foreground, really, really cool. Now, the kind of stick he's holding in his hand, this is actually the fold of Korea, so don't pay too much attention to that. Uh, but the movement and the reflection is very nice. Although at some point it looks like the movements are going backward for a short moment. Next we have another interesting problem that I found with this model and that is light sources that are flickering. Now here we have a woman looking out of a train window and most of that actually looks pretty amazing. However, one of the problems as you can see here with the sunlight is the blinking is just way too strong for it getting covered once in a while by a little bit of a tree. That is very, very intense. This scene here I was quite happy with, even though the guy is not reacting too much to these big waves. But overall, the way he is looking at, out at the sea and then back at us and all that dynamic in here, the lights and how good the sea looks, all of that is actually really impressive. So this is one of the kinds of scenes that work a lot better with this model. Really, really impressive. Another thing I was very surprised by is this dancing scene here. Now, maybe don't look too close at the fingers of the hands and also the head at some point is just like twisting to the other side. But the movement of the clothing and the movements of the legs actually pretty impressive. So I think with some more tries or with some good editing afterwards, you can actually get some interesting scenes out of this. Next here's a pretty interesting scene. Now you can see that the octopus monster is not moving at all. And what I found is that the model might have a problem distinguishing between the model and the background because both of them are blue. I think that might be a problem or it is because the octopus is blue, but it expects a pink or an orange octopus. 
The reason why I think this is because in this scene I prompted for a red octopus and here it actually works a lot better. It's not 100% correct, but actually the scene is pretty good for what it is and the water is very nice, so I'm actually pretty happy with that. Here we have an alternative scene like that. Again, pretty interesting from the result. It looks a lot like this octopus is made from plastic. Again, I think this is more on the area of Korea on how this was created but how the waves come out and the movement here of the monster even though it doesn't really look very monstery in the way it's moving is actually interesting that it works at all so for that test it was pretty cool regarding movement here i have another clip that's pretty interesting because it has this kind of like very funny dance movement in here and he did that almost every single time not as extreme as this time a little bit less but he did that and one of the things i find positive here is that it actually works with these anime or animated characters so that's good it's not just with cinematic movie scenes but one thing is also that the model seems to have problems with this kind of walking or running movement and often there's a little bit of a skip in the step before before it goes on but at the other hand actually the movement and also the movement of escape is actually pretty nice now here's something I really liked we have this Viking standing near a lake with the torch in his hand now he held the torch too high again this is Korea that doesn't have anything to do with the runway but in this case actually the flickering of the light is almost good I feel it's still a little bit too much but the rest of the animation the fire animation the water animation the expression of his face and how he's looking around a little bit is actually pretty pretty nice. And I've created another scene that I actually even like more where this Viking is standing in the waves. The water is moving around him. He's holding the torch. He's looking around a little bit. The face expression is pretty nice. So I'm actually happy with this. Also, there's a guy in the background waving around the torch. Now he's pulling the torch out of the water at some point. So forget about that you might be able to remove that afterwards with some editing software but the scene in the foreground for the most part is actually pretty nice and here we have a dwarf scene i was also actually pretty impressed by the way he walks the way the camera is moving backwards the way he's holding the x all of that is actually pretty nice now again you can see sometimes there's a little bit of a skip or where he makes a smaller step for no reason so again that is kind of strange about this model but most of it is really really nice Here's another scene that I was very impressed by with this monster reading a newspaper. The result looks very nice. The emotions on the face also look very nice. Now, to be honest, I had to prompt here that he's not moving his mouth because when I said reading the newspaper, he actually was moving the mouth like he is reading the newspaper aloud. But this result here, actually very impressive overall. And here we have another funny scene I wanted to include with this big monster making the bed. So you can see not every monster is a bad monster. Sometimes they just want to help you have a nice orderly bed. This scene here was also pretty funny where the guy is slipping out of the cave. Now I wanted him to go slower of course but here he's really picking up the speed but the inside of the cave actually looks beautiful and also the landscape as it is moving by looks pretty nice and consistent. Only the result is a little bit goofy of course. Here's another scene of something that this model is really good at and this is this kind of like following a car or a motorbike anything that is driving fast is pretty good with this model of course there is one car that's driving backwards but forget about that there will always be some problems with the eye the overall scene is pretty express impressive also how the reflections of the light on his helmet go by are very nice. And finally, there's one more thing that stood out to me. I wanted to have this monster dance on the bed and it looked pretty goofy. It still does look pretty goofy, to be honest. However, one thing I found out to make the dancing movement more dynamic is to put in the prompt a 
actor wearing the costume of a blue monster or a dancer wearing the costume of a blue monster to actually get more human movement, more fluid movement into that monster. So that is an interesting trick you might want to use. Now, as you have seen, the model can do pretty amazing stuff, but also has its shortcomings. And I think in the near future, we will still have a lot of funny moments with AI video models. But I also feel like we are getting really close to getting amazing results. And with the unlimited generation and with some creative editing and fixing of the clips afterwards, you can already create amazing results and create your short film in a really high quality with a very low budget compared to what it costs before. Put some prompts into the comments below. Thanks for watching. Leave a like and see you soon. Bye.